What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2. And Halloween is long since past. The big holiday video game rush has come and gone. Now we're starting that dark descent into one of the most depressing times of the year. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not talking about the Thanksgiving to holiday season, you silly bastard. I'm talking about the dry desert wasteland that comes in every game's life cycle when we've exhausted all newly released content and we begin looking to next year's releases. Although, I, I usually do hate the holidays, but as I get older and life gets a little bit shorter, I'm doing my best in letting go of my hatred for other people's holiday happiness. But that, <laughs> that is an entirely different topic to tackle separate from the shit that I want to talk about today. But now that Destiny is dying down, drying up, and the only things that we really have to look forward to in the Destiny universe is seasonal microtransaction mini events. Yeah, you, you're not gonna get a Ric Flair from me on that one, motherfucker. <laughs> Suffice it to say that there's going to be a serious content lull in the Derp City department. Which is fine though, because starting early next year with Pack South in January, we'll be gearing up for some Red Dead Redemption Armored Grand Theft Horse 2! <laughs> pre-release coverage. Those of you guys it has been around for a while, you know that Rockstar Games are some of my favorite ever made, and coincidentally, some of the best times I've ever had making content on my channel was during the launch of GTA 5. So definitely looking forward to that. We'll also be getting into some Borderlands content on my channel again, and not just the remastered guides on information that we're all aware of that, you know, I started doing in the summer and got kind of self-conscious about, because, you know, people will come here and they're like, oh my god, Mac, we already know this, and then you got some other people that come from the Destiny universe and they see this, like, oh man, this game looks cool, what is this, you know? And even though most of you guys really did enjoy the remastered guides, that one comment that you see in the comment section that hits home, that just confirms everything that you were thinking of before you uploaded it, is it, it's like a nail in the floor. Nobody gives a fuck about the floor until you step on a goddamn nail. <laughs> but uh, this Borderlands content will be geared more towards, you know, Borderlands past, present, and future history of the Borderlands universe, characters, guns, and you know what we're likely to see in the next upcoming games from Gearbox, leading into what I'm hoping will be a formal Borderlands 3 unveil trailer at either PAX or E3 this year. You're gonna get a motherfucking Ric Flair on that one. Woo! <laughs> and I'm I'm still holding out hope. For a surprise Borderlands 1 remaster release this year, like 2K did last year with the Bioshock series. I got my fingers crossed on that one, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm also pretty excited for the release of the Nintendo Switch and that upcoming Zelda game. Unfortunately, there's going to be all sorts of red tape trying to upload and monetize content on that, which means that the primary venue for monetizing Zelda content is gonna be live streaming and uploading guides on Twitch.tv. And since I absolutely love, 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 love Zelda games, and I, I feel like covering a Zelda game would be the, the video game palette cleanser that I need right now at the moment. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Borderlands and Desi, I love covering them, god damn! I've been aching for something new to rest upon my taste buds. Something adventurous. And Zelda looks like it's gonna fit that bill nicely. So starting in the next few weeks, I'm gonna be putting a larger emphasis on trying to regrow my live stream in preparation for that. And you know, I I've recently started taking steps on rebranding my entire Twitch look and layout the last few weeks to coincide with the relaunch of regularly scheduled streams starting in 2017. But that doesn't mean that I'm done with YouTube. Oh my god, he's gonna quit. <laughs> Definitely 
Definitely not. I, I plan on continuing my channel, as always, full steam ahead. If you've been here for a few years, you know that January is usually just a really slow time for YouTube content in general. I mean, last year around this time, we did a Stick of Truth Let's Play and a bunch of random indie games on Steam. But that does mean that fan favorite series like the Sunday Q&A and more Life After 30 updates will be making their way back. In fact, fuck it. Today's Saturday, right? Let me, hold on, let's check the, the calendar there. Saturday, November 19th, 2016. That's right, today's Saturday, so fuck it. If, if you want to leave some questions in the comment section down below, we, we can go ahead and bring back the Sunday Q&A tomorrow. Make life a little bit simpler today, right? <laughs> but even though... Things are a little bit dry right now. There's no worries. We have two huge confirmed game releases next year with Destiny 2 and Red Dead Redemption 2 and a possible Borderlands game announcement on the horizon, plus Zelda Breath of the Wild. 2017 looks like it's going to be a lot more promising in terms of game releases than 2016. That's for fucking sure. <laughs> so, my name is Jay. More than after kill, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on a video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. But don't forget to leave a question in the comment section down below for tomorrow's Sunday Q&A. That is a subscriber-driven series. Without your cues, there's no way that I can give you a piece of that A. <laughs> so make sure you lay it down. And lay it down good in the comment section down below. My name is Jay. More than after kill. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see y'all motherfuckers later.